So I have been doing something that was unthinkable for me up till a couple of weeks ago and I have been wearing my hair curly and not washing it every single day. And that's something that I've really tried to do over the years and just never worked for me. I couldn't get it to look right, it always looked frizzy, the curls always dropped, it just wasn't for me. But it's been so cold lately and I've been getting in really late and I just haven't felt like wanting to wash my hair every night. So I tried a couple of different things and I've kind of found a routine where I'm comfortable not washing it every single night. So I wash it one night, don't wash it the next, and then do wash it on the third day. So basically, no, not on the third day. So let's say, let's say I wash my hair tonight, then I'll wear it clean tomorrow, wear it clean the next day, and then on that day in the evening, I'll wash it. So basically you're just having one day where it's kind of two day hair, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna take my hair down now and show you what two day hair looks like on me. So I've had it kind of just up and this is what it looks like. What I've been doing is I've been trying to kind of let my hair, um, doing the same routine that I have been doing when I was washing it every day, just always the same, and then using a couple of different styling tools and techniques the next day. So what I've been doing is just kind of sleeping with it down as I always do. I kind of prop it up on the pillow and this is what it looks like when I get up. Then I'll start to kind of rough around with it and the problem I tend to have is that it just goes a little bit frizzy and it just looks a little bit kind of not as shiny and just loses its kind of freshness but also it does have more volume which is really nice. So what I've been trying to do is to incorporate different styling products and one tip that's really great is to just wet your hair a little bit so take some water in the palm of your hand, scrunch it into your hair and then put your diffuser on a cold setting and just diffuse it ever so slightly. That will kind of bring it back to shape a little bit. I don't do that every day because it takes time and it's wet hair and that kind of thing so just kind of dampening it and then diffusing it works well. But I've got a couple of products here that are really nice and if my hair's been kind of a little bit frizzy and a bit drier, I've been using this Bumble and Bumble Curl Conscious Reactivating Mist, which looks like this. And it's just a spray and what I'll do is just tip my hair to one side and just start to kind of spray it from afar. It dispenses kind of like a nice fine mist and it smells lovely. And just kind of, oh, I spray it onto my face then <laughs> and just kind of working that into my hair and then I'll kind of tip my head upside down a lot mess it up a little and start to scrunch the curls sometimes I'll use a serum most of the time I don't because I feel that weighs the curls down <clears throat> but I'll just kind of work that into the hair and you see instantly it just adds a little bit of body and just kind of brings the curls back to life a little. It doesn't help to get rid of the frizz too much but I don't mind a little bit of frizz. I think sometimes curls look better with just a little bit of frizz. And then two other products that if your curls kind of drop and they're a little bit flat looking the next day are really good is kind of salt sprays or texturizing sprays. This is the Vero 5 Give Me Texture Tussled Styling Spray. This is really effective. You do want to be careful and don't use too much because it can be a little bit sticky. And then this is the TG Catwalk um, Salt Spray. Love, 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 love this. I've used this loads, but you can just spray a little bit of that. Spray that into the root and it works really well. And then once I've kind of got it to a stage where I'm kind of happy with, I'm not sure totally how it looks now because I haven't got a mirror in front of me, but I can kind of feel <laughs> that it kind of is okay. I will just play around with that, as I said, and then put a bit of hairspray on just to lock it into place. And I will go out with my hair like this and I will kind of feel like it's okay to not wash it every single day. And it has been an absolute lifesaver. And I felt like sharing this just because so many of you write to me and ask me, what do you do on second hair days? And I found something that I do. I couldn't ever answer that question for you before because I never had second hair days. But this is what I do on second hair day. And I, if I was really unhappy with it, I would just put it up in a bun. But generally speaking, I have been doing this and I'm really enjoying it. So I hope you found this useful. I know it's a really quick video, but I thought I'd just share it with you because so many of you ask me this question and I finally got an answer for you. So I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you all next time.